This is Bertie. He's a bat. He looks just like a little furry mouse, doesn't he? But bats can fly. They've got wings. Now, bats don't perch on trees like birds. They hang upside down, like this. Look. Are you going to fly for us, Bertie? Listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen. We've tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure. Tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Is that you, Twinkle? He's being a bat. So, <laughs> he's upside down. Oh, Twinkle, cats aren't meant to be upside down. You'll give yourself a headache. That's what I told him, dear. Ooh, I feel giddy. I don't think I'd make a very good bat. You sit quietly, Twinkle, while Boris finds the book. Oh, have you got a story for me, Boris? Yes, somewhere. Uh, uh, oh yeah, here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mopple. <laughs> Thank you, Boris. Are you feeling all right, Twinkle? Yes, thank you, Chloe. I'm ready for the story now. It's called When Will It Be Spring? Look, that's Alfie collecting autumn leaves. And there, that's his mother standing outside their cave. Come inside, Alfie, said Mother Bear. It's time to go to sleep, and when you wake up, it will be spring. That's a long sleep. Yes, some animals do that. They go to sleep in the autumn and sleep right through the winter. When will it be spring? asked Alfie. And Mother Bear replied, When the flowers come out and the butterflies are hovering overhead, then it will be spring. So Alfie snuggled down to sleep. But when he woke, he rubbed his bleary eyes and saw... Butterflies! It's spring! It's spring! cried Alfie. Wake up, Mother Bear! He thought he could see a butterfly. But look, what's that? It's a bat! Yes. Winter has hardly begun, said Mother Bear. Go back to sleep, Alfie. But when will it be spring? Alfie wanted to know. And Mother Bear mumbled sleepily. When the birds begin to sing, then it will be spring. Then Alfie curled up again to sleep. And when he woke, he saw... Birds in the trees! Mother Bear, wake up! squealed Alfie. Spring is here! He thought he could see birds. But what are they? Leaves! And icicles. You're dreaming, Alfie, said Mother Bear. Now go back to sleep. But Mother Bear, said Alfie, when will it be spring? And Mother Bear grunted, mm, When the sun is bright and the air is warm, then it will be spring. So 
Alfie burrowed down in his bed again. And when he woke, he saw a bright sun. Mother bear, cried Alfie, wake up! Spring is here! He thought he could see the sun. Look. But what is it? A fire! Yes. Mother Bear quickly hustled him away. Now go to sleep, she said. I will tell you when spring is here. So Alfie slept and dreamed of butterflies, birds and sunshine until something icy touched his nose. A tiny stream of water was trickling through the cave. The ice was melting. It was getting warmer. Alfie shook his mother awake and she growled. For the very last time, Alfie, it is not spring. But Alfie patted her hopefully until she got up and saw the spring. Spring is here after all, she smiled. But where is Alfie? He's asleep in the flowers. He got up so many times during the winter, he's tired out. He wanted to see the spring. Now he'll miss it. Oh, I expect Mother Bear will soon wake him up again. Thank you, Boris. Would you like to sleep through the winter? No, thank you, Mr Mopple. I have too much to do. So many books to look after. Bong! Time to go, time to go. Thank you for reading the story, Mr Mopple. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Twinkle. Goodbye, everyone. Hello. He's hanging upside down, so he's probably ready to go to sleep. You see, bats sleep during the day and they go out at night. They also sleep through the winter, just like the bears in the story. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>